Hey folks, my name is Freddy and in this video we're taking a closer look into uh, this ECU unit I have in front of me. This is the Delphi MT35 unit and in uh, this video we're going to talk about how easy it is to make a faulty diagnostic uh, about these units. If you have the P1600 uh, fault code stored, it's usually stored inside the ECU itself but in almost any cases it points to an external uh, hardware issue somewhere else in the vehicle so stick around to learn out more. This specific ECU you can find in the era around 2003 to 2013-14 something like that and uh, to be honest it's not very uncommon with the broken ECUs on uh, older Opel cars but this specific one MT35 is different. Most commonly you get the P1600 fault code among with various ignition coil fault codes and this 9 times out of 10 points to a broken or partially broken coil pack on the car. So where do you start? Make sure that the coil pack installed in the, in the car is an original one because these doesn't always meet the OEM specifications needed. Remove it and check for any visual damages and replace it if necessary. Uh, the fault codes in combination with P1600 usually is P0300, P0351, 52, 53 and 54. If that's the case, this is what you start with and most commonly it'll solve the problem. But if you have the P1600 code among the various can related fault codes, it could be something else also located in the engine bay. If you have fault codes like U2103, U2108, U2139 or any other shown on the screen, it points to an issue around the UEC, also called the Underhood Electronic Unit. On these ones, it's very common for water finding its way into the unit or into the connectors on the back. So when you first pop the cover off, check the rubber seal for any indications of water seeping in. If it looks okay, remove it from the car and check the connectors on the back. Uh, these can get really corroded and usually the problems you're having on the car is coming and going at first, then gets worse and worse over time. So make sure there isn't any watermarks or sign of corrosion before refitting or installing a replacement unit on your vehicle. If you're having P1600 among with throttle body related codes like the P1635 and others shown on the screen, it points to a faulty throttle body. Uh, but what you want to do first is to remove the ECU connector closest to the engine uh, and pin your oscilloscope in and check the wave pattern for any type of interference. If you're having P1600 among with open circuit ones like P0230 which is fuel pump relay circuit malfunction or like P1112 swirl flap control open circuit or any of the other ones shown in the screen it definitely points to weakened wiring in the car. Over time the wiring gets weakened and will eventually start to tear, break and cause issues like this. If you have any of these it's definitely an overhaul of the loom that needs to be done. So how do you test if a cable is okay? The principle is the same on all cables. Uh, we're going to start the multimeter because we're going to measure ohms. Uh, in this case we take the positive lead on the multimeter and put it into the possible faulty component and then the negative into the ECU connector. I've just uh, laid this up for a comparison. The ohm or resistance value is supposed to be around 1. If it's higher or no value is measured at all, we have found a broken cable. And that's all for today, my friends. Uh, if this were for any help for you, hit that like button. And uh, if you're into more fault finding with me, make sure to subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to uh, post uh, as much as possible uh, when it comes to uh, fault finding and uh, possible causes and how to repair things. Now go out there to your garage or the small workshop and make an impact.